I'm Little Butterflies and today I'm going to show you a couple ways to have a cozy reading day in my pajamas. So the weather out here is frightful like it's really <laughs> it's really gross outside like it's been raining and it's been cold the last couple of days like winter cold I just feel like I hate I love Louisiana, but I hate it because you can never get the seasons right. I feel like we skipped right out. We went from summer right into winter, and I feel like we just skipped completely over fall. And I love fall. I feel like we had maybe, maybe a week of fall weather, and that's a big maybe. So, and then today it's just really gross. It's been raining all day. It's dark outside. I'm happy I'm getting a hanging the hang of this whole lighting thing. Because if I didn't, this video would be either not happening or very disgusting. So, um, I just decided that I'm going to show you guys a couple ways to keep cozy while you read. Because I'm, I'm always cold in my house. Like, no matter what, the air can be off. I can have it on 74 and put it on auto. And I will be sitting up, up front freezing with a blanket. Like, I'm always cold. So, I just figured, and then it's dark outside and it's really gross. Like, let's do a video where I'm giving you ways to have a cozy reading day to keep cozy in general while you're reading every day, okay? And then I was too lazy to put on clothes, so I'm like, yeah, we're going to have our pajamas on today because I just did a caterpillar corner with Kalea and her pajamas, so that's the kind of day we're having today. So, I guess the first thing that you're going to need if you're having a cozy reading day is a book. And it doesn't have to be a cozy read. It can be anything that you're currently reading at the moment. Just something that you're into, that you're going to be doing. And I am currently reading 112263 by Stephen King. This is what I'm currently in. Um, I've only read the first chapter. And I'm very behind because I was supposed to discuss this with my buddy read, my buddy readers. For our buddy read yesterday, and we're supposed to discuss the first six chapters, and I'm just starting to read the book. I just started yesterday. I psyched myself into thinking, Kayla, we can read six chapters in one day. But I was at work all day yesterday, so that didn't happen. But um, I'm going to start discussing this today with them because I just I, I can't let my buddy readers down. But this is what I'm currently reading, so this is going to be my book of focus. So you're always going to need a book. And like I said, it doesn't have to be considered a cozy read. Like it doesn't have to be winter time or something like that. Just whatever you're into at the moment. Then the next thing I want to talk about um, is, is a basic. If you're like me, I'm always cold. So you're going to need a blanket. Okay, so this is my blanket. I keep it in my living room. And I'm usually always just like this in the corner of my couch. Just like this with a book okay so you're gonna need you a nice soft blanket and i have blankets everywhere this is my house blanket and then i also have a blanket and a quilt at my mom's house so whenever i go to my mom's house and i'm cold i go and i get my blanket or my quilt depending on if i'm about to take a nap or not and yeah so i'm a blanket person get you a nice warm blanket and you can spend ten dollars on a little blanket like it doesn't have to be a $30 blanket okay it's just always nice to have a blanket in your house if you if you don't have a, a blanket come on like you need that like that's gonna be perfect that's your first line of defense if you're reading and you cold instead of laying down because that I can't lay down and read I'll go to sleep so get you a nice blanket that that's nice and you know it's not too thick not heavy like a comforter just something that you could just throw around your shoulders and get the chill then the next item that I'm going to talk about which is all it was just also going to be something that's awesome for you guys that are like me that are always cold no matter what you can get you a little space heater like the one i have here is an electric heater that i got from fit first that they contacted me and invited me to review this product for them and i was like sure why not at first i had to think about it, like is this something that i really want to review and then i'm like even though it's technically not a bookish item it's kind of it's kind of bookish related because if you're like me you're always cold and you need to be comfortable when you read instead of you making your whole house hot you can plug this in right next to you it's not big at all it rotates it gets hot very quick because it says it has a twist uh it claims to have a two second quick heat up and it really is quick you turn it on and it, it instantly heats up so it's not blowing cold air out for five minutes before it gets hot and it also rotates 
So not all the way around, it's at a 45 degree angle. It'll rotate back and forth for you. It has high, you can put it on high, low, or it also has a fan mode that it that it blows, you know, cool air if you need to cool off. It also has a, what do you call it, a tip over protection. So if it tilts, if it starts to tilt, it shuts off before it actually, like if it starts to lean, it'll shut off. So you don't have to worry about it burning up anything or anybody getting burnt. Um, and it, it, it also cuts off if it's starting to get overheated so you don't have to worry about it knocking anything out. The only problem that I did have with this though, when I turned it on, it made my lights flicker and that could just be my apartment. That might not be everybody's situation. It could just be my apartment. It didn't knock any lights out though, but it did make my lights jump. Like I guess it takes a lot of power. I don't know how it works. But that's the only problem I had. I tested it out. I used it for three days, for a couple of days before. And I'm actually reviewing this day this way after three days. So I did use it for a couple days before I sat down and did this review. But, you know, I like the item. I think I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to have an Amazon link down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Because Christmas is coming around. So this would be a great gift to give a bookish person or if if you know anyone like me that's always walking around cold and I'm not anemic but if you have an anemic friend that's always cold this would be a great gift for them and I think it was only $45 but I think Amazon has a five cent a five percent coupon so you'll pay 43 <laughs> it's not that big of a difference but it helps I don't get any money from this if y'all use the link just to let y'all know I'm, I'm doing this for free I'm reviewing this because I like the product so I would like to thank fit first for giving me the opportunity to review this product like thank you so much because that was very thoughtful you guys because I know I don't have that big of a following but I'm probably am gonna have to respectfully decline any future reviews just because I don't like to be told what I can and can't include in my reviews because there was a problem with me including that I got this for free in my Amazon review. So I don't like the fact that I can't be honest and that's what I do. Like I'm an honest person. My review is was honest, was completely honest, I, but it was just the problem that it was don't say that you got it for free. And I don't see what the problem with saying I got it for free if it was a good product. Just like if it was shit and I got it for free, I just I got it for free, but it was food. But I got it for free and it was actually a good product. But I just don't like to be told. Because if you're going to tell me not to include something as small as just saying that it was free, then what are you going to be telling me in the future that I can't say about a, a product that I'm reviewing? So that's just my whole thing on that. So I'm probably not going to be reviewing anything else for them just because of that but i did have fun and it was like a good adrenaline rush i'm like oh my god i'm like reviewing like something other than a book like so you get caught up in the hype of it but i'm probably not going to be reviewing anything else from them just because of that if that's going to be a problem in the future so now that that rant is out of the way the last item that i have that i think is it's kind of an essential but it's not but it really is it's really part of the whole cozy being cozy and reading kind of thing and that is tea now it doesn't necessarily have to be tea it could be hot chocolate it could be coffee so i know everybody isn't into tea but i do have two recommendations for tea for you guys out there that are skeptical about tea because i understand if you don't like you know like green tea or something that's flowery i get that i 100 percent get that but there's teas that's not like that like they have salted caramel tea which is one of my favorites it's really delicious it's really really good okay so this is a big low tea you can get it from the grocery store it's not like you have to go somewhere to a tea store to get it and you can get it at the grocery store for like three bucks maybe and i think i'm gonna make me some today because it's been a while since i actually sat down and had a cup of tea so i'm probably gonna have some today it's really good it's really sweet so like not really sweet like it's gonna hurt your teeth not candy sweet but it's very very delicious so you should try the salted caramel tea or there's um french vanilla as well which i'm out of that right now nigga some more and there's also vanilla caramel that's really good too um also there's another tea that's kind of like a classic tea you hear about but you're not sure if you want to taste it you're not sure it's going to taste and that's the english breakfast tea i really like this tea it's 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 sweet too like it's surprisingly sweet like when i got this i didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i did i just thought it was gonna be one of those one of those older teas where it's like you know they're one of like the og 
the OG teas and it's like, oh, that's not gonna taste good. But it actually does. It's really good. It's almost like just like you just drink the caramel, the salted caramel tea, but it's not as sugary as the salted caramel tea. I guess that's what you say. But it's really good. Like this, like these two teas that I'm talking about, even the vanilla caramel that I'm talking about. It's good by itself, like without you putting sugar in it. That's how good it is. Like you don't need sugar, but I'm, I have a sweet tooth. So I put sugar in everything, <laughs> but it's really, really good. So if y'all want to try tea, try the English breakfast tea or try the salted caramel or vanilla, uh, French vanilla or vanilla caramel. Like it's really good. Okay. So don't knock it until you try it. Now, if you try green tea and you didn't like it, that's, that's different. This is that's different from that. I, I totally understand it. You might not like the, the in-your-face herbal teas, and that's okay. That's okay. Black teas, though, are really good. So, if you're looking for something sweet, try black tea because I find that the black teas are really good. But, yeah, even if you're not a tea person, hot cocoa will go great with this because it's hot cocoa weather because it's freezing. Okay, so it's hot cocoa weather. Or if you're like a coffee head, get you some coffee. And you can have you a nice warm sip while you're reading your book. So, thank you guys for watching this video. That is all I have. I had fun doing this. I kind of wanted to do it another way where I was kind of like doing a skit as I was doing this. But I'm terrified to do skits, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm afraid it's not going to turn out how I want it to turn out. <laughs> and I don't want to look stupid. So... In the future, because I have like a list of videos that I want to try. Like I really sat down and, and like wrote a whole list of videos that I want to try to put on my channel. To just kind of do some different things. And a lot of them are skits. So I think this is going to take me some time to like warm up to myself. And probably play around and just, re just record. Like just play around and record not to upload. Just to see how it will look before I actually do it and get comfortable with it. And then I think I'll be fine. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys take my suggestions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions to add or anything to comment on in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Put your comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm gonna treat you all so good. Do the